James Wannis, thank you so much for coming by the tasting table today. This wine is X. This is from the producer Le Colturi called Gerardo Valdo Biadene Prosecco Superiore. This is Riva di Santo Stefano Extra Brut. Stay tuned and I'll tell you all about this wine. So please do me a favor, give a like to this video, and please subscribe to this channel. I think this is a glorious, wonderful extra brute wine, and this is coming from the Riva subzone. So the Riva is speaking to each of the specific hills that it's closest to. So this is Santo Stefano. And let me show you a map right here, and you can get an idea of what the Riva looks like. It is complex, but it is something to not be overwhelmed by either. So if you have an opportunity to taste a Riva wine, you're at your wine merchant, pick it up, try it out, because it is a much more rarefied place to grow the Galera grape, the wine grape for Prosecco wines. So Le Culture has several extra brute wines and they also have Cartizza, which I will review. So they're producing the wines in the variety style that is optimum for that experience, for the grapes itself. And uh, so here we go with this wine. I think this is splendid, beautiful, definitely serve this in a much more of a tulip shape so you can get the smell, but you also get some beautiful bubble action, which I think is really um, a wonderful thing. To me, Prosecco is an opportunity to enjoy, envelop, you know, this beautiful Veneto and uh, Fruili wine. And when I'm in Venice, uh, Venezia, I'm definitely drinking Prosecco because it is right there. It is in the region itself. And it's very exciting to be tasting these wines with uh, wonderful food. And of course, amazing, stunningly beautiful historical views. So on this, I'm getting notes of uh, white uh, autumnal winter fruits of apples, uh, summer fruit of white peach, fresh almonds, and floral notation. Next is the palate characterization. Now this wine is full of finesse, elegant and beautiful, notes of autumnal fruit of quince, Asian pear, apples, oyster shell for salinity notation, as well as minerality and pignoli or pine nuts. This wine is 95 points out of 100 points. And more reviews to come from La Colturi. Thank you for watching, I do appreciate it. I will see you in the next review and consider this for your autumnal uh, servings for Thanksgiving and other meals as well. It's a lovely, lovely one. So be sure to follow me. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Again, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you already have, molto grazie to you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you very soon. Come back to this tasting table for more. Salute.